Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play CrossCode. In the previous episode, we continued fighting alongside Jorn and Apollo in order to help out the uh, Shad village so that we may gain access to the temples here within Gaia's Garden. And in between episodes, I went ahead and got some new equipment. Uh, I replaced my Bright Bracer with the Ahiri, which grants us some pretty good stat buffs. 266 health, 65 damage, 13 defense, and gives us some HP regen. I uh, couldn't really find anything I'd like that would replace the Sunset Claw or the Vermilion Mantle, but I did get the Pathfinders, which gives us 35% to status men, along with another 555 health, 19 defense, 30 focus, and some resistance to wave. Uh, also, in terms of circuits, I had a little bit to invest in fire, which I believe I put into the burn protect, which just seems like it would be useful. And as for ice, uh, let's see if I can remember what I put it into. Oh right, I put it into attack plus and iron stance. Because I can't really get too much farther down some of these paths, and as for these, eh. I know I said I needed some throw arts, but I don't know. Anyways, while we're here, let's talk to Citron, who seems to still want to talk to us after the whole guild raid debacle. Hello, Leah. Hi. It's good to see you again. Well then, the temple should be just to the north of here. Uh, but before we go there, let's just wait for a moment. Bonjour, Tony. Uh, hello. So, was it my imagination, or did I spot a certain horned girl? Come on, Leah, don't hide. Hi. Why is she here? Well, I invited both of you. See? I heard that things have been somewhat complicated between you two. Ever since the raid. We? You could say that again. I'm still bummed that we had to cancel it. Then Leah has been gone for so long, and now she's acting all strange. Yes, I've heard as much. It's all just inherently difficult, you know, since Leah can't talk and explain herself. But is there really a, a need to know exactly what happened? We, oui, I mean it would at least help. Oh, bother. Let me just try and ask Leah a couple of questions, okay? Sure, give it your best shot. Okay, Leah, first of all. Did you intentionally leave the raid? Was it something you wanted to do? Was it some kind of accident, or something else outside of your control? And when we couldn't reach you for a week, was that intentional? So in short, all these things happened are not something you wanted to happen. Is that correct? Well, it seems like Trani knows how to ask the right questions. Well, you see? Then what about that whole thing with Lucas? What was that about? Emily, please, I'm sure that's even more difficult to answer. Instead, let me ask the most important questions. Leah, over all this time, did you miss us? And now, do you want to play with us again? L Leah, see, isn't that all that matters? Leah, I... I'm sorry. Leah, Cherie, I missed you too. Hi, I was acting stupid. I'm so sorry. Hi. I don't know what got over me. I was just so angry when you suddenly disappeared. I was angry, but I also missed you. Hi. I just wanted to know what happened. I was frustrated, but it's okay. I don't have to know everything. You always meant well. I should have known that. Hi. There you go. I'm glad we worked this out. What? Hi. Well, it's good to have you back, Leah. Finally, back together. Hi. And just in time for the dungeon race, no? That's right, we've all got to, we've all finished the mandatory quest, so we're good to go. Parfait Parfaitement? Oh well, you guys should all know by now I'm probably gonna butcher the French language trying to pronounce those. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. But wait. Did you just reconcile with Emily and Citron again? Oh, that was quicker than expected. Well, it might be a bit late, but anyways, here's a new word for you. Finally. 
Sorry. Sorry. Well, I thought it might have helped. Sorry. Yes, I know it is too late now. Sorry. Yes, I am sorry. Bye. Hey, Leah, let's go. Sorry. Ah, we. Oui. Hey, I think that's the first time I've heard you say that. I mean, sorry. You're right. Well, it's a little late to apologize now, mademoiselle. Sorry. Haha, <laughs> past the problem. Come on, let's not waste any more time. Here we are, rite of passage. Here we are, that famous dungeon crossing. So, which dungeon is first? I think that is up to us. There are two temples we have to complete first in any order. The Sonaji's Temple to, in the west, and the Zir Vitar Temple in the east. Once we have completed both, we can enter the Grand Chris Kajro, Kajo to the north. Mon dieu, that's a lot of dungeons. Well, we don't have to do them all at once. We, oui, but I'd like to at least finish one of them today. Sounds reasonable. We. Oui. Oh, right, what about you, Leah? Are you ready to dive into dungeon crawling? If you like, we can take a stroll through the jungle first, punching some more parrots. Well, yeah, we could do that. Leave it up to you, Leah. But of course, no entering a dungeon without us. Well... If what I've read is correct, if we want to get the wave power, we gotta go to the Shock Temple, and based on the coloring, I'd say that's to the east. But I am gonna get both in any case, so... Might as well get them both over with. Let me just go ahead to the shock first to get the wave power. Well, well, you certainly match the description. Hi? Are you not the seeker who solved the problem with the shad? Ah, so my calculations were indeed correct. As always. Anyway, your help has been very much appreciated. My name is Dr. Lou Sarit... Saritia? Leah. Of course, the Shad are a tad off in their thesis that the power plant is the root cause for this strange infestation. I would know. It's my obligation to make sure of it. There is no leakage, no parameters off the expected spectrum. From the, lack, from the track's perspective, the plant may as well not be there. Or here. Obviously, something else must be causing this. I'm not sure what exactly, but I will continue to investigate. Well, I'm sure you're here to enter the temple, so I won't distract you any further. Good luck, and if there is anything you'd like to know, feel free to drop by in my office. It's in that building to the left. Gotcha. Until then, Seeker. Bye! Yes, well, I won't be bothering with that. Instead, let's head for the dungeon. Here we are. The Zirvitar Dungeon. Now, there is a slight problem with this. Because, unfortunately, the guide that I am using to collect treasure chests, which shows me the pathway to get them, does not include this dungeon. I am going to try to get them all, but my first priority is getting through the dungeon. Besides, most of them are probably going to be key chests. Such a gloomy atmosphere. Well, we're at the border of the infested jungle. Oh, right, and the infestation comes from the power plant here. That's what the Shad believe, anyway. Well, let's get this over with. Hmm, looking at your stats and level, do you really think that you're prepared, Leah? True, I heard your average stats should be somewhere above 180. We can look for better equipment at base and keep first if you want. Anyway, it's your call. Ready to start the race of the Zirvatar Temple? Really? The cord. Hmm, I suppose that is true, but I haven't really been finding anything that I really like, or that wouldn't require a ton of uh, grinding. Besides, for the most part, I'm there. Yes, admittedly, my defense is a little bit low, but I think I make up for that in the resistances department. I don't know. Let's give it a try anyways. Okie dokie. Everybody get ready. 
dungeon race! Good luck, everyone. You don't have to wish me luck. Just run slow and I'll be happy. I won't give you that luxury. Okay, obviously we need to get all of these to light up. Okay, there's that one. Bingo. Which gives us that. Okay, so that's how those things work. Hit them with the wave element and it teleports you to them. That's neat. Hmm. Weird. Something's stopping my shots. I'm sure the answer is obvious. I'm just missing it. Because you gotta get them all in one shot, and then I also have to hit that one. There we go. That takes care of that and opens the door for us. Let me guess, these guys are weak to wave. Yep. Gotcha. Unfortunately, the way he's standing, I couldn't really teleport away. So get them over, get them focused on you, then teleport away. Ah, you stupid buddy. Well, there's a chest right there. I know what it is I have to do. Just gotta get the timing right. Okay, not what I intended. But that works. Bingo. Takes care of that. 
That allows us to get down, that allows us to get back across, and I can't get to that because these are blocking the way. So I guess my only option is maybe to go down, or where does this lead? Lead back over there. I'm just gonna take the damage so I can get back quicker. Okay. Falls along there. Hmm. I'm sure the answer is obvious. find some way to disable this. But I'm not 100% sure on how exactly this is meant to work. It seems like it goes down there into there. Goes to there, goes out there. How do I get it to go upward, then? Okay. Weird. Still don't fully understand that. I have no doubt that's going to cost me the race. But really, I don't care. Bonjour, so I was wondering. Is this temple the wave or shock dungeon? Oh, I think it's shock. I mean, there's electricity all over the place. Enemies shoot lightning bolts and all that. I think it's wave because you use the wave elements, no? Those weird balls phasing through the walls are wave, right? I think so, yes. But you always get the element opposite to the dungeon's theme. Like getting heat in the temple mine, which is all cold and frozen. I wouldn't call Fajro Temple the cold dungeon because you get cold. What? I thought Fajro was the cold dungeon. That place is literally filled with ovens and heated coals. How can you call it the cold temple? I get the cold element and punch stuff to make it cold in the cold dungeon. Makes perfect sense to me. Gosh, whatever. Labels. Let's just keep racing. Alright, what about these guys? Fire and, of course, wave. Oh, fire it is. And my stats will more than make up for what I've got. Okay, then.
Can't say I was expecting buff plants in this dungeon. And there's that. We don't have a key that we can use, but we'll probably be coming back here later. Okay, teleport up there. We hit that switch. Let's see, then we gotta bounce it off there into that. But we can't. Huh. There's no way I can get up there in time. Unless... Nope. I was hoping that the wave element was still part of it. So how am I supposed to go about this? So can't go through there. It's pretty much a dead end. There's no other location for me to go to. No way for me to get the ball to go down because they're not affected by gravity. And it has to be the well that that wave element that hits that. Hmm. So how am I supposed to do that? Because if I had the wave element, I could just well, I could just shoot across. But I don't. I gotta use that little ball there. This is frustrating. Okay, hold up, guys. I'm gonna look this up. Okay, well, I'm just a complete idiot. I could just do this. Well, assuming I can get the angles correct. Ugh. Yeah, you ever have one of those moments where you get a solution and you just feel like a complete and utter idiot for not getting it right away? Yeah, that's me right now. Okay, so we teleported over. Ah, I see, I see. Bingo, and that should unlock the way for us. Obviously, we need to get all of these to light up with fire in order to get that, and then ice, and get us that. Hmm. So we start with that, we still gotta get up and across to there. We can't shoot through those pathways. What do we... Ah. Okay, that gets us over there. We hit this with the ice element. Which unlocks that for us. Which gets us teleported over there. Which then means we can use this to hit all these. Bingo, which allows us to go up and over. We are going to go over. And fight a bunch of turkeys and buff plants. I'm going to take out the buff plants first just because I know how to. And they're fairly weak. Yeah. 
missed them entirely. That was a waste of SP, but so be it. What were these guys weak to? Ice. Really weak to ice. And down they go. Alright, only way forward is to the right, so let's head that way. Huh. Okay, what happens if I hit that thing with wave? Oh, it teleports over. That is pretty neat. Well, at least I can move through these bubbles. Okay, that gets me up there. I hit this switch, which is permanent, which allows me to do this. I would need a location to teleport it to. Hmm. Okay, so I can move these. Okay, that gets that over there. that over there, which lowers that. Teleport it over there. Push it across over this way. Whoops. Push it too far. Then I should be able to shoot a ball over here. Bingo! Teleport it over there, which allows us to push it onto that block. Pressure plate. And then we can hit both. Ooh, more turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Don't know how he didn't see me when I teleported right in front of him, but whatever. That's them down. But we still got that other turkey right there, but hey, whatever. I ain't gonna complain about that. Uh, no other real options except to go across. Oh boy, these again. Okay, there's that. There's this. And we gotta start rotating these. I still don't fully understand how this works. But hey, I ain't gonna question it. So you rotate this one here, to this angle, this one to that angle, and that should do it. Rotate this here, rotate this like these. Oh, shoot, I gotta stay on the move. Yep, 
these ones don't stay out. Alright, that gets that switch. Gets us over here. Bingo. Teleport over there, which gets us a key. And a turkey to bite. Uh, correction. Ecto Vault. Well, he seems to be very weak to wave. And I missed. Ah. Okay, I see what I have to do. I gotta get him in that box, and then I gotta move as quick as I can to take him out, which will probably allow me to do a ton of damage to him. There we go. And it's an egg. Okay. Not gonna complain about an easy target to hit. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay, but with that, we have come to an end for this episode. I know I wasted a little bit too much time on those first couple of puzzles, but that's just how I am these days. So, anyways, I'm going to end it off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.